What has your experience been like here? If you want to do something here, you can do it. Um, you know, I, one of the very first things I did, I decided that I really wanted to be involved in extracurricular activities. And to be honest, when I first started doing that, the reason that I wanted to be involved in extracurricular activities was because I didn't want to pay for college. And that's honest, but it's also not the best of reasons to get involved. I came to the Quill and I realized that I could write about movies and I love writing about movies. Um, and it just, that was another thing, like you came in here and you started writing for the Quill and then all of a sudden you're the editor-in-chief. This is really a campus that allows you to succeed if you want to succeed. Um, all you have to do is put in the work and effort and it's, the people here can't be applauded enough. What advice would you give to students who are struggling to figure out their major and what they want to do? Well, I'm actually going to take a page from uh, Dr. Papalardo's playbook and say that you really need to be passionate about what you do in your life. I would advise students that aren't sure about their major now that that's fine. Whatever you do, don't tie yourself and bind yourself to something that you're not passionate about. But what advice would you give to strictly new students who are coming to Carroll right out of high school or maybe not even out of high school like non-traditional students and they're coming back to school? What advice would you give for them? Get involved. Get involved. If you get involved it's going to greatly enrich your experience here. You're going to find through your courses that there are great instructors at the school and you'll find the ones that you like and if you, like a, if you like a professor, if a certain professor resonates with you, take their classes, take all their classes. But what motivated you to come back to Carroll? Well, that's a question that, that really digs down deep into the what motivated me to leave college in the first place question. Um, and that's a story that really starts with my situation at the time. I was more or less in my in my high school years and my middle school years raised by my grandmother um, who was just an amazing woman and uh, she had to take care of me and my mother uh, mainly because my mother suffered from a debilitating mental illness schizophrenia um, and as she grew older as I, as I got further into high school my grandmother um, became less physically capable of doing that so she grew to rely on my mother more, um, but my mother in turn really wasn't able to, uh, to take care of herself, let alone try to really take care of my grandmother. That when my grandmother's health really started to finally decline and she ended up in a nursing home and then later she died, um, it, it just it sent everything into a tumble. My mother, we had to sell the house that we lived in. My mother ended up moving in with a boyfriend. Um, and I was left effectively kind of homeless. Um, you know, there, there was a while that I, uh, that I stayed with friends. There was some time that I was sleeping on the couch at my father's house, a while that I was, I was staying with the boyfriend and my mom. Um, but I really didn't have anywhere to go. And I was trying to juggle full-time school, full-time college, and uh, full-time work at the same time. And it just, it, it didn't work out. And we were really poor and work offered me this opportunity to go and to become a manager and that opportunity was um, sort of instant gratification right you know I went from being this sort of clerk that was trying to put, work his way through college to actually having a job that made pretty decent money um, instantly without having to wait for that college investment to pay off so I took it shouldn't have taken it um, probably one of the worst mistakes I've made in my life. It ate up about a decade of my life. And uh, at some point in time, I just I decided I had had enough. I decided that I wasn't happy when we talked. So I, I decided to come back. And once I came back, and you know, I was exposed to those factors that we discussed before, the, the willingness of the staff to accept people, the ability of student life to, to really integrate any student into this, into this student body. Um, it just, it, it became, easy to dream big and to think, well, I'm back in now, like what can I do? And How do you feel about being named student speaker at graduation? When Christy Crumley sets you down and says, hey, we've decided that you're going to be the speaker, or we would like you to be the speaker for our graduation, uh, it's an honor. And I think everyone would say that. Well, when she emailed me and said, you need to stop 
by the office. Um, I didn't really know what was going on. I stopped in and she told me and yeah, I, I cried. Um, it, it was very, it was big, it's huge. But something you realize looking at that is that I'm a non-traditional student, you know, I'm 32 years old and I represent a portion of the population of Carroll. Um, there are very specific things about my story that I represent that portion of Carroll. But at graduation, I'll be representing everyone in this major milestone. Um, so it's not only an honor, it's also very humbling to know that, that Christy and the group down there in the student life and the people on the, that are in charge of graduation had, had that kind of uh, feeling towards me that I would be able to, to take on that yoke. Now, you're the second editor-in-chief of The Quill, which is a student newspaper, and the previous editor-in-chief, Luke Fisher, was also chosen to be student speaker. How do you feel about that? being chosen as well. Luke had a lot of a lot of success as a student that anyone would be proud of doing. And he set that standard that if you're going to be the editor of this newspaper, you're going to be a very successful student at Carroll. Um, so again, humbling um, that, that, that Luke would choose to have me follow in his footsteps.